The Al Smith Dinner, hosted by the Archbishop of New York, is an annual gathering of elites for Catholic charities supporting needy children held at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York on the third Thursday of October. The event honors former New York Governor Al Smith, the first Catholic presidential candidate. Ceremonially, it is the last event at which the two U.S. presidential candidates share a stage before the election. In the past, the event has been an occasion for American power brokers to rub elbows with their political pawns. It's this thing was Dias, or better known as the top 1%. <laughs> Thank you all very much. This is an impressive crowd, the haves and the have mores. <laughs> of course, rules of fairness have to be enforced because uh, what other safeguard do we have besides the press? And, uh... But this election year, being one of the strangest on record, presented yet another opportunity for Donald Trump to hold no quarter against Hillary Clinton. It's great to be here with a thousand wonderful people, or as I call it, a small, intimate dinner with some friends. Or as Hillary calls it, her largest crowd of the season. We have proven that we can actually be civil to each other. In fact, just before taking the dais, Hillary accidentally bumped into me and she very civilly said, pardon me. <laughs> and I very politely replied, let me talk to you about that after I get into office. <laughs> And I've known Hillary for a long time. This is the first time ever, ever, that Hillary is sitting down and speaking to major corporate leaders and not getting paid for it. <laughs> At the chance to meet the people who are working so hard to get her elected. There they are, the heads of NBC, CNN, CBS, ABC, there's the New York Times right over there, and the Washington Post. Now I'm told Hillary went to confession before tonight's event, but the priest was having a hard time when he asked her about her sins, and she said she couldn't remember 39 times. <laughs> nah. Hillary is so corrupt, she got kicked off the Watergate Commission. How corrupt do you have to be to get kicked off the Watergate Commission? Pretty corrupt. Hillary is and has been in politics since the 70s. What's her pitch? The economy is busted. The government's corrupt. Washington is failing. Vote for me. I've been working on these problems for 30 years. I can fix it, she says. I wasn't really sure if Hillary was going to be here tonight because I guess you didn't send her invitation by email. Or maybe you did and she just found out about it through the wonder of WikiLeaks. We've learned so much from WikiLeaks. For example, Hillary believes that it's vital to deceive the people by having one public policy and a totally different policy in private. That's okay. I don't know who they're angry at, Hillary, you or I. For example, here she is tonight, in public, pretending not to hate Catholics. <laughs> now, if some of you haven't noticed, Hillary isn't laughing as much as the rest of us. That's because she knows the jokes. And 
end, all of the jokes were given to her in advance of the dinner by Donna Brazil, which is, everyone knows, of course, Hillary's belief that it takes a village, which only makes sense, after all, in places like Haiti, where she's taken a number of them. Thank you. I don't know, and I don't want this evening without saying something nice about my opponent. Hillary has been in Washington a long time. She knows a lot about how government works. And according to her sworn testimony, Hillary has forgotten more things than most of us will ever, ever know. That I can tell you. Of course, the media will spin this with the intent of containing Trump's populist message while simultaneously falling on their own sword. Truth be told, this is only the beginning. Whatever the outcome of the presidential election, the Clinton crime family will ultimately have to answer to the veracity growing within the American consciousness. John Bound for Infowars.com.